Good morning, world. I get asked this question a lot. How do you afford world travel? Well, I make it a priority. So yeah, sure, other things come up in life and you have to decide, is this the most important thing? Or are these other things important? So, like for the, I realized early on when I started uh, full-time, well, when I first started with six month to 10 month trips, I uh, noticed that I could save up pretty well. I had a big income coming in <laughs> at the time in 2000, uh, 2000 nothing, 2004, 2005. Anyway, um, all I had to do was stop spending $50 a night going out with friends, going to fancy restaurants, going to bars. Now, <clears throat> but you can still do it on a smaller income. That's the thing. You know, you hear about these postal clerks that amassed a million dollar fortune by being really smart about investing. I mean, you can. If you know, if you know something about investing or have a good financial advisor. So here's the thing. The main thing is making it a priority. See, people don't. I hear people say, oh, I wish I could do that. It's like, well, you really could, but it's not important. Maybe you're buying things that, like spending a lot on a car. That's a very expensive investment. I realized when I was in Italy, again, that if you live somewhere with, um, and you don't have to go to Europe for that, public transportation. Um, I didn't buy a car when I lived in Hawaii for the first two years. Uh, so I rode my bike, took uh, the exceptionally on-time bus in Oahu. But I did eventually get buy a car because it was harder on the outer islands to rely on public transportation. So you have to make different choices in life. So that's the thing. If you're willing to make it a very important part of your life, then you can do it. Maybe um, you can spend longer of a time on your trips. But the trips themselves, you can actually save money by not going out all the time, renting an apartment. Um, but that's a whole nother video. What I wanted to address, because so many people ask me, and also the more sarcastic people, <laughs> comment on my YouTube channel saying, oh, you, you must be rich and some guy's supporting you. No, that's not true. I'm doing it on my own, me and God. Um, and you can too. So, um, when, after I moved away and thought I was going to be gone in a 100% expat, I tried it. It didn't really fit for me. I liked coming back to the United States, seeing my family living here, not being gone indefinitely. Um, <clears throat> so when I got back, um, a lot of my older clients from the past from my photography business had moved away and so I kind of had to start over again so I, I started a couple of side hustles and that's what you can do too uh, I was doing uh, pet sitting in homes and getting paid very well for that uh, what else was I doing that was my main side hustle and then still shooting and doing writing so <clears throat> What I recommend you do is have a budget. I think the first time I went on a big trip was uh, for the amount of money I saved, was a two and a half month trip to see Wolf in Nepal and then India and then Bali. I spent a lot of money on that trip because I paid my rent instead of um, about 2500 or more in rent instead of renting my place out which then I started doing so that's another way that you can save on costs rent your place out when you're gone which I did on every other trip until I decided I didn't want to come back um, so there's ways to do it you just have to say no to things that you really don't need like you spend a lot of money on clothes 
cash I was the cashmere queen a lot of money on that um, <clears throat> and I still have a lot of that cashmere so you can you can do it it's just a different kind of life and um, there's the bathroom you can save up for it so you just have to focus get motivated know that you want to do it and go towards it it's like anything else it's like you know writing a book getting it published getting a goal happening once you once you do it the first time and you decide whether you can you can sustain that or that you like it um, then you'll know after that first big trip now the next one um, I think I'll do on solo travel because a lot of people are afraid to do it um, and you can do it you're already doing it in your daily life in a lot of different ways but that's a different video so any questions about saving for travel please let me know comment below and i'll see you in the next video